against, against a very good team, against, uh, against Algiers, uh, a very good side. So we will play this game knowing that uh, even if we win, we are not going to advance to, to the next stage. But uh, we have to use this, this game as uh, part of preparation. Preparation for, for the league is about to start. And also, we wanted to, to restore uh, pride in, in our supporters uh, for us to, to get a positive result before going out. Uh, eventually, we are not going any further in the competition, but we're playing for pride. Uh, we have to show that uh, we're playing at home. And uh, I think the preparation that we, we had, the past two weeks we've been in camp, uh, it was evident uh, in the way the, the, the team performed today. I think there was a massive uh, improvement and difference compared to the other previous games we've been playing. Uh, coupled with uh, a lot of challenges we've had, but uh, thanks to the officials and uh, everyone who, who came to, to the rescue of the team to make sure that uh, preparations were on track and uh, before the season started. So it wasn't an easy game, but uh, we're thankful that uh, we got a positive result today. We got a win eventually uh, in the confederation uh, group stage. So I think uh, I can sum it up uh, to say that credit uh, should go to the boys. They really fought. It wasn't easy. Yeah. Uh, I just alluded to that. Uh, if you noticed uh, the other games we've been playing, there has been a lot of challenges in the team. But the past two weeks, it was the first time the team has been come since we regrouped from uh, recess. And you could see uh, the fitness levels have improved uh, tremendously. And that was our biggest challenge. If you saw the last two games against the Mahi. So this really helped the team. So I cannot single out uh, that Macambo or Kaseko are standing because they scored no, but everyone, everyone fought for the team. Everyone gave in their best. And uh, that's a great, that, that should be given. The whole team is great for that. Well, uh, first and foremost, you should understand that uh, Kelvin hasn't had uh, much game time. Uh, he has been out since the last season Simba game, and he stayed for more than, I think, three months without training. So he just had about two weeks of training. Uh, I think he signed the last day of the window. So that's when he started training. So we had to to have cover in that central defense for us to make it a little bit stronger. <clears throat> and that's why we opted to, to use uh, Abdallah in that holding role. He, I think he did the job. Uh, if uh, we had used maybe any other player, I think we were going to be in a lot of problems. So I think it was a good tactical move uh, from the technical team. So we give credit for that. It's football. People get injured. I'm sure he's going to recover. Wake Jan, Unafaa nini is shut on the size. Unafaa nini? Yes, yes, yes. Huh? No. Where did you back up? Baba! Hila. Nani Uten? Ni for an appear to obey the Apana, you said you want to go out? Apana, where did you back up? Apana, I'm saying. Chabu Zanini, Wakati Vodacom, in a Kulitesim Bianja Kali, the Itel Gado, na Techno Fire, Kwa Beya Gioni, Pata GB Zabure, Kufidia Gramazako, na Ufraim Tandao Super, Yayayo, Yana Fraisha, Ukotayari, Vodacom. Moto Hauzimi Kiti bora cha kufaidi mechi kali za ligi mbali mbali ni hicho ulichokalia
Fuatilia msimu mpya wa soka 2018 2019 live ndani ya DSTV. Moto hauzimi kama sio DSTV. Potezea